Hello everyone, here is our weekly zodiac readings for every sign. So I will be doing all of them. If you would like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading that is just for you, those are definitely available. It is Donation Friday, so just check that out. And if you would like a personal reading, just message me. Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to start with Aquarius tonight. Yeah, I please have cards for Aquarius. Aquarius. For the week of November 11th to the 17th, please. Aquarius. All right, let's see. So for our first card, which would be all the way down here, I am seeing there is going to be some disappointment or there has been some disappointment in the past. So I do see that. I am seeing something that you're honestly not seeing clearly. You're seeing it only your way and the way you want. And there is some deception around you that you need to be aware of and be careful of. I'm also seeing that there is abundance coming towards you this week. So that for some of you, it'll be fertility, but a lot of you, it will be abundance. There is some more money or some opportunities coming your way to make more money. I am seeing a celebration and closest with family and friends and just things being really good for you. And then this is another card that can be a birth of a child. So for some of you, not all of you, that can be coming. Or you can just hear of someone around you that is going to give birth. I see that there is going to be a lot of hard work that you've been putting in. And I see that planning is going to pay off. There is something that you are working towards and something that you want that you will get. Just keep doing what you're doing and keep planning. I see justice coming your way. I see that there's going to be things that are going to balance out and you're going to get your truth and justice in a manner. Something is going to go in your favor. If it is something legal for some of you, it will be good for you. If it's not legal, it can just be something that is happening around you that will definitely be going in your favor. The last card is you have a lot of fears and worries about something, but you honestly don't need to. It's just in your head. And just let go of it. So that is for our Aquarius for this week. Now we will do and jump around and go to our Leos. Okay. May I please have cards for Leos for the week of November 11th to the 17th, please. And thank you for our Leos. Leo, please and thank you. All right, let's see what we have for our lovely Leos. Okay, so I'm seeing that you guys really need to balance your emotions because lately they're all over the place. So you have lots of going on and your emotions are just everywhere. I am seeing that there is going to be some clarity and truth coming and being revealed to you in communication with someone. I am seeing that you have an awakening in a situation that's around you. You're finally going to see what you really want. You do have a lot of anxiety and stress that you're hanging on to, and at times you're feeling a bit victimized. But I am seeing that you are going to get through this and things are going to get better. For some of you, it could be that you are not feeling well and I see that you get better. I'm also seeing creative ideas and energy coming towards you that's going to be either great for your work or your career. And I see happiness coming towards you. Something good is definitely on its way with the sun. I see victory. You're fighting for something and you're wanting something. And I see that you're getting there. You're definitely getting where you want to go. And our last card, 
I am seeing good news about your finances and good news about money coming your way. So that is a good thing for our Leos. I'm seeing the victory and I'm seeing money and it's happiness, which is always a great thing. Just need to balance those emotions and try to keep your stress level down. All righty. Let's see. We will go to our Libras. Libra, please and thank you. Libra for November 11th to the 17th. Here we have cards for Libra. Libra. All right, let's see. I see some lies and mistrust around you that you need to be aware of. Something could be going on that you're not aware of at the moment, but you should pay attention to. I am seeing that there's someone around you that you keep telling them how you feel and what you want, and they're not paying an ounce of attention to you. They're pretty much paying more attention to their mind and their heart. And you could keep the pressure on this person to try to get what you want, but that doesn't in the end mean that you'll get it. I am seeing that you are trying to manifest something, though. It's, I see that you will get it. You think that it's out of your reach, but if something is going to happen for you that is good that you are wanting, I am seeing a new start or a new beginning for you that involves a little bit of risk, but it's going to be a good risk. I see you need to follow your heart, and for some of you, be a little more romantic than what you are. And I am seeing that there is going to be a rest after a difficult and stressful period for you. Things are lifting up, which is always good. And I see that if you didn't feel well, I also see that you're getting better in that too. I see some kind of investment or some kind of money being offered and coming towards you. And your last card you have some wishful thinking on something that this is something that you want. There's some temptation that's around you, but you just need to keep moving forward. Even though you're not seeing the full picture of it, you need to keep going. Okay, now we're going to jump to our Gemini. Okay. All right, everyone, let's go to Jemmy. Okay, Gemini, please and thank you for November 11th. To the 17th, please. Thank you for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. We didn't need exactly all them, but alrighty. Okay, let's see what we got here. So I am seeing the Two of Cups, which is great. There is a romantic partner, a soulmate, someone that you're connected to that is around you. Can even be a happy marriage. I am seeing that you feel pushed into something. And there are some lies and there is some mistrust around you. I am seeing a reconnection with someone from your past. And it going in a different direction. So someone from your past is coming back. It doesn't have to be an ex though. When it says from your past, it can be anybody. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be just someone that you've known before that just happened to bump into again. I am seeing good news about your finances. I see that you need to save them so that you have it for the long-term future. But good news is coming your way in that. And I see that your emotions can be all over the place at times and that you need to balance them a little better. Okay. 
you're working hard for something and I see that you just plan and that it will come out and you are getting where you need to go. So that is for our Gemini's. Alrighty, now we will do Aries. Aries, please, and thank you. Aries, November 11th to the 17th, we will do Aries. Okay, let's see what we have for our Aries. Well, first I get some happiness which is great. I see that things are going to balance out for you and you're definitely getting your truth and justice in something. For some of you, it'll be a legal decision and some of you, just anything that's going on, will that will be going in your favor. I see that there is that you need to listen to your intuition because it's helped guiding you. I'm also seeing that you're always taking care of everybody around you and you honestly need to take care of yourself and do something for yourself. You are able to take care of the needs of other people and yourself. You don't need to depend on anybody and always remember that. There is fears and worries that you have, but it's only in your head and you really don't need to have these fears about losing everything because you're not. That was for Aries. Okay, now we will do Taurus. Taurus, please and thank you. May we please have cards for Taurus. 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 All right, let's see. I see that Taurus feels that they're being pushed into something and you're not seeing something the way you should. It's only in the way you want an illusions and there's some deception around you. I'm also seeing though that there is going to be some spiritual achievement. Excuse me, I was looking for the word. There's going to be some material achievement coming your way and spiritual achievement and something that you are going to have a milestone in and celebrate because you're going to be very happy about this. I'm also seeing that you're trying to master your emotions by keeping them to yourself. And this doesn't make you very happy at times. The bottom card is saying that you also need to balance your emotions better because at times they're all over the place as well. Okay, let's do Cancer. Cancer, please, and thank you, Cancer. Cancer. November 11th to the 17th for our Cancers. Cancer. I have a few more. Thank you. Anything else, please? And thank you. For cancer. All right. Let's see. Okay. So I see cash coming to you in a windfall by either a project or a person, but I'm seeing some money come your way. I am seeing that you have some wishful thinking about something. You have some temptation and you just need to keep moving forward. Even though you don't know or see the full thing, you need to just keep pushing towards it. I am seeing you're balancing a lot on your shoulders and there's a lot of work and you need to have a little bit of playtime for yourself. I see that you are in hermit mode, staying to yourself and keeping very quiet. It keeps saying that there is going to be some good news about your finances. So money is coming your way. Keep that in mind. And it's also saying that you need to save it so that you have it. Don't just go squander it. I see some celebration and some milestone being met. Also some spiritual achievement and material achievement. So mostly this week is all about cash coming your way. And I'm seeing that there's going to be creative energy. 
and new ideas also happening for you, either good for work or home. But there's definitely good things coming to you, especially money. Okay, we will do our Virgos. Virgo, please. And thank you. Virgo. Okay. Okay, Virgos, for the first card that fell out over here, I'm seeing you have some wishful thinking about something and you just need to keep going with it and push forward. Even though you're always wondering what might be, you need to just keep pushing. I'm seeing that your hard work is going to play off. You need to just keep planning for what you want. I'm seeing some new connection, new, con new relationships, and new feelings also coming your way. And always remember that you can take care of your needs and those who depend on you. You got this. Always remember that. And I see that there is some insecurity around you and ha with you, but I see that that's not going to last long. I see something successful coming your way that's going to offer you more security and just be a lot better for you. And I'm also seeing some good news about your finances coming. I see some money. Okay. That was Virgo. Let's do Scorpio. Scorpio, please. November 11th to the 17th, Scorpio. seeing a fight or an upheaval with someone, some kind of a disagreement, some broken pride. I'm seeing that at the moment you need to stay grounded and be very practical in the situation. You are working hard towards something and you just need to plan. I am seeing good news about money. You need to save it, put it away for your future. Again, you says cash is coming. So definitely money for you also. So keep that in your mind that it is coming. I see that you're also trying to keep everything to yourself. Everything that's going on within you, you do not share with people. You keep a lot just to you. And a lot of the time that doesn't really make you happy. You're just hiding yourself. I am also seeing that you are manifesting something and you think that you're not going to get it, but I see the success coming towards you. So that was for Scorpio. We will do Sagittarius. 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 Sagittarius, November 11th to the 17th, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, so I see there's something you're battling for, something that you truly want, but it's pretty much unattainable. You need to just drop it and leave it alone and admit this defeat because it's not doing anything for you. I am seeing nostalgia. I am seeing a reconnection from your past coming towards you and it going in a different manner. I see there is going to be a welcome rest after a difficult and stressful time for you. If you haven't been feeling well, I see that that will improve also. 
I'm seeing that there's something you're taking on that is going to have a good ending. Now, there is something you really want that isn't going to work, but there's something else that's in your life that is going to go in a better direction than what it is. I do see the challenges and the obstacles that are around you. And I see that it could even be a person that comes in and out of your life. Okay. That was Sagittarius. Now we will do Capricorn. Capricorn, please. And thank you for November 11th to the 17th. Seventeenth Capricorn. All right, so I am seeing a new connection, new relationships with new feelings. I see that you're moving forward. I see some travel with a lot of good news coming with this. You need to stay grounded and be very practical at this time. Excuse me. And I am seeing that there are challenges and obstacles that you need to overcome, but they will be and lead to success. So you will get over all of that. And I see that you are always taking care of everybody around you and you honestly need to take care of yourself and do something for you. Okay, I think I did not do Pisces. So Pisces is next. Pisces, please, and thank you. Pisces, November 11th to the 17th. We have cards for Pisces. Thank you. All right, so there is some wishful thinking and something that you want to do. I am seeing that you need to move forward in it. You're not sure what's going to happen, but you need to just keep going and keep moving in the same direction that you're going in. I am seeing that there is going to be new relationships and feelings coming. And that you're finally going to understand your ambitions and you're going to see the progress that you need because the new opportunities are coming towards you. I see that there is an illusion, though. There's something you're not seeing completely clear and that you need to take a better look at. And there is going to be closeness with family and friends and some kind of a celebration coming towards you. And it can even be for some of you, the birth of a child. And I see someone reconnecting with you. Okay, guys, I thank you all for tuning in. I will be back next week with the daily or the weekly horoscopes over here, your zodiac signs. And I thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful week. If you would like a personal one-on-one -on -one where it's just me and you and we take time and we have your reading for the questions that you have personally and would like answered, those are available. It's just message. We do have donation Friday where you can offer the donations that are listed below and you can try it out to see if we connect, to see if you like them and to get some answers. And then we can take it from there. Or even with a donation reading, you can probably get all of your answers. It just depends on the reading itself. I do love, I do general, I do past life, I do career, you name it. You got it. Just message me and thank you for joining. Good night.